Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Well, what? Pay attention. Get off your cell phones. Pay attention. Welcome back to another episode of Mindful Mayhem. I am your host, Cody Tucker, and joining me today is a very special guest, Miss Sophie Marie. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I am great. Happy St. Patrick's Day, if that means anything to you. I don't know. Oh, I don't have any green on. Yeah, well, faux pas. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah, Dang. Well, neither do I, but you know, oh well. Yeah, well, I know. Hey, look, it's a made, it's a made up holiday. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, but, I know me either. <laughs> but technically, all holidays are made up, so I guess it really doesn't matter. So, <laughs> all right. Well, um, so before we uh, get into it, is there anything that you'd like to promote? Like anything that you have going on that you want anyone to know about? Um. Well, I'm always shooting for my website, which is Sophie Marie Triple X dot com. Mm hmm. I'm, yeah, I've been busy doing this uh, series called Sneak In, mm -hmm. where basically I, uh, my hubby is working and mm -hmm. sneak in a guy, whether it's, you know, in the backyard, by the side gate garage, and we uh, have a great grand old time, and then I sneak him back out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What are you doing? So that's yeah. been fun. Um, nice. The, the stepmoms um, mm -hmm. be a big uh, seller for me. So yeah, well, that's what I've like. You know, I mean, I was kind of, you know looking through your content. And a lot of it is like that kind of like sort of going into like different taboos, like which I think is pretty awesome because it's kind of to me the good part of like the adult film industry is you can kind of like kind of dip your toes into taboos and maybe try to like you know, give some, I guess, like humanity to it. Maybe that's not the right word, but you know, something to where it's a little bit more like comfortable where we don't have to sit there and think that like, oh, sex is this horrible thing that we shouldn't be talking about and all right, that. Right. So, so how did you get started? Like, I mean, how long have you been doing it? Like, um, let's see, it's 20. Um, so back in 2015, maybe I started okay. out as bikini. So okay. as you've seen, I wear the smallest bikinis ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, I noticed. So, yeah, but, you know, minimal coverage, which, you know, just cover the right amount and then you're good, in my yeah. opinion. But anyway. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah. So um, I was just kind of just started taking photos. Mm -hmm. uh, I would post on, well, Wicked Weasel, they're based out of Australia. They're the ones with the tiny front. Um, mm -hmm. Malibu Strings, which is based in California, and Dubio, they're very, just the tiny micro bikini sites. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, fans were asking to see more, less, more. I don't know how that goes. So yeah. I was topless and then nude and then um, just kind of all snowballed from there. I started feeling more comfortable naked in front of a camera. Um, I'm in the lifestyle swinger. So my first experience there was a girl girl experience and that was fun so i'm like dang i have all this all these photos again i wasn't doing videos back then because i was mm -hmm. believe it or not i'm actually a really shy person people don't believe <laughs> i know I laugh every time i say that. like <laughs> no, Sophie, you're not because you what you do but i am but anyway so you know like i said i started feeling more comfortable and and here i am i guess uh six going to my seventh year so and then i built really? my website yeah uh, from there kind of and then started doing the videos and yeah that's awesome like yeah. that yeah i mean has it did you have any kind of i guess like trepidations or nerves with starting going from like modeling to actually making video content because it is it does seem like a pretty big jump 
It's the only, since I shoot mostly for my own uh, company, the, the only time I was very nervous was, I guess that was be four years ago in August, um, when I sh- started shooting for other companies. So I went back to Florida, mm-hmm. shot for uh, Team Ski, no, not Team Ski, Reality Kings, Naughty America. So like working with other directors, other, you know, male talent, which is, you know, I obviously work for with other talent girls or, or guys um, from my mm. own company, but, you know, different directors. So I'm like, oh, God, you know, at, you know, the dialogue, the script, the lines. I'm like, oh, you know, so and I was at that time, what, two or three years into it. Mm-hmm. So I was very nervous. But, but yeah. Know, but were of- you surprised by like when you so so first day, so day one going into a set? like for an act for one of those companies was there anything that was surprising to you like or did they make you feel comfortable because it seems like everybody's got to be as comfortable as possible which is probably pretty difficult it, yeah to, i think it depends on the person but i have had yes i was a little nervous like i said but i'm like we're you know having sex on film like there's whether there's two you know, two or three cameramen, or there's an assistant, you know, a makeup artist, the male talent. And, you know, here you are coming into this kind of strange, not strange, but well, kind of strange situation. Mm-hmm. You're like, hi, I'm Sophie. Hi, I'm, you know, you introduce yourself to the male or female talent. Oh yeah, we're going to have sex, you know, like, so that's yeah. a little awkward in the mm-hmm. beginning. It was for me, but now it's just like, Hey, you know, we, we talk on social media, you want to work together, yada, yada. And, um, you know, I have references, whatever. I mean, mm-hmm. so it's, it was very nerve. I was very nervous in the beginning and, but I've had great, honestly, working for other companies, especially great experience so far. Yeah. I mean, some stories, uh, knock on wood, but yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, but that, that is kind of like, I guess maybe a misconception, maybe not, but like, I guess the opinion of a lot of people is that, you know, is that they tend to look at people in, like the industry that you're in is like in a negative light, which I think is kind of unfair to do because, okay. Yeah. There may be some people in it who have their issues, but I mean, you can say that about doctors, teachers. I mean, you can say that about anybody. So (laughs) that's true. But but do people put those misconceptions onto you like that you've noticed or are people pretty cool with you? Um, well, my, I've had, most most great support mm-hmm. except family members <laughs> so yeah but other than that i mean you know a lot of a lot of my friends are swinger friends they're like oh that's great you're in porn you know and the doll business and and it makes me more comfortable going to like a swinger party i'm like yeah fuck you know let's let's do it um yeah and but yeah other than family and like really not even close friends just family members really have yeah you know, and some, you're right. A lot of people judge, but you can go back and say, well, how'd you find me on the internet? You know, <laughs> looking at, you know, it's like, come on. <laughs> so don't well, judge me, you know, yeah, it's, it's like, whoever. Yeah. It's like whenever you're, which I mean, you know, not to pry into that, but like, it, like whenever I was a kid, like if you'd be praying like for on like Thanksgiving and then somebody's like, Hey, you weren't praying. It's like, well, how the hell did you know I wasn't praying? Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unless you yeah. were looking up. Yeah. So right. yeah, it is kind of the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you think that, cause obviously you're in like insanely good shape. Has that, has that always been a thing? Like, like fitness? Yeah, I've uh, ever since I can remember, I, I played like soccer probably since five years old. Um, and then, so I played volleyball, soccer through elementary school, high school. And then I actually played, um, got a full ride to USC, um, played volleyball there. Nice. So I was a setter. I'm at 5'10. I was tall back then for a setter. Nowadays, they want like six, you know, six foot and or a setter. And, you know, obviously yeah. the setter's the shorter position. I mean, shorter, you know, not a hitter, outside hitter, whatever. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I've always been active. Yeah. I, Are you, you're 5'10? I'm 5'10, yeah. Yeah. I'm like 90% sure that you could beat my ass. You think? Why? Are you are you shorter? No, I'm 6'3", but I'm also like pretty timid and have really slow reflexes. <laughs> so. 
I might be as tall as you if I wear my five inch heels if you're six. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, I also get out of breath like tying my shoes, and I feel like your stamina might be a little better than mine. So, yeah, you know. I, I do kind of sweat in my scenes. I, I don't know if you've seen like my gangbangs or whatever, but um, I have. And yeah. <laughs> Like that's well, what I'm like, no, it's not. Okay, sure. I, <laughs> I enjoy what I do, you know. I, yeah, if I sweat and I'm a chick and I sweat, oh well, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't think anybody's being turned off by that, to be honest. <laughs> no, no, I don't think anybody's like clicking off. Like, uh, if I see one bead of sweat, I'm done. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Is Do you have like a bucket list, you know, like of things, like career wise, do you have a bucket list of things that you would like to do? with your scenes? Um, there are like performers I want to, I, overall, um, the main, my main goal, like, you know, in the next say five years mm -hmm. is to grow my company, um, to, you know, like the more I shoot for other companies that gets my name out there. Cause I get, you know, I've been told, Oh my God, I did like, I, I can as well. Um, mm -hmm. they're like, Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't know you were a porn star. I'm like, yeah, you know, and so some people have heard of me, some people haven't. I would say lately it's got, you know, I've, it's been, I've been more um, noticeable, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but there are so many MILFs out there. So it's like, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's a whole competition thing, I guess, it, you know, in a sense. Yeah. So. But competition is, I think a good thing. Oh, I mean, yeah. it, it at least helps you like, kind of get because I think that if you can find something specific like an avenue right then you then that's whenever things take off yep. like if you're just a generic milf I mean god there's 10,000 right. but if you can do something specific then you know there might be one or two of you right and and I try you know I, I do a lot of the interracial and a lot of the taboo mm -hmm. and, and anal lately but those two genres or categories seem to but again you're right a lot of most do that you know so it's yeah. like huh you know i do i so you're right and so i'm yeah. still trying to figure that out like what can i you know just dis distinguish myself from the other mills yeah but also i mean so if you're, also company and brand and all that you know but. well that's a huge part of it i imagine because I mean, I don't, as far as I know, I wouldn't think there's a whole lot of people who are running like their own website with their own brand. Um, so I would imagine that's helping you out like a lot. It is. It is. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of, yeah. Most, most talent shoot for their only fans. I'm like, well, I shoot for my website. Yes. Yeah. I have fans. Yes. I have other clip stores and you know, whatnot, but I don't, you know, that I don't do this cell phone footage. I like, you know, a scene, a, a storyline, you know, it doesn't have to be an hour long video you know yeah. because people don't really i wouldn't think watch you know they watch the the good parts or whatever or fast yep. forward and then they they come <laughs> so pretty much uh, that's just my uh, that's my guess i don't know Look, um, it's it's the first three minutes the middle three minutes and the last three minutes okay see that's <laughs> nine minutes <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> or, i don't know that may just be me to be honest i don't know <laughs> No, I, I think you're right. I've, I've heard that more more that way than, oh, yeah, I'm going to yeah. you know, sit here and watch the 45 minute movie. And then, you know, yeah. but I do. So, like, I don't know if you're the same way, but like, actually, do you watch porn? Like, I, that I, might be a stupid question. But. No, I actually I don't. Okay. Um, I, I well, I have watched this one scene. This was in the beginning, like several years ago. Mm -hmm. It was by sex art or med art. Very, it was a, as a girl, it was a three girl um, movie. And I actually, well, I'll tell you about the movie. So basically it's very sensual. It wasn't like the typical porn, you know, the, uh, uh, and obviously with girls, it's a little more sensual anyway. Uh, not, I guess if you have a strap on or whatever, but so I actually tried to recreate that movie, not recreate it, but so I had myself, Texas Patty and Kyla Keys because okay. there was on and with short hair and two brunettes so i just did that recently um and so it's more like sensual and it wasn't just the typical porn mm -hmm. so that is one movie a porn movie i have watched and it was very hot and sexy but other than that no yeah. i don't i don't really watch porn. I gotcha. yeah i didn't know if it was like because you know like magicians hate watching other magicians because they know how it's done 
So I don't know if it was something kind of like that, where you're just like, well, I do this for like a living. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I do have to watch, like after my editor edits the movies, I have to watch it again. So I, I do just to make sure he didn't miss anything before I release it. So I do have to watch myself in that sense. Is that weird to you? Um, a little bit. Like I just did a Ghostbusters thing recently where I played Janine and I had to disguise my voice. Um, and I was busting up. I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's just, oh my God, that's me, you know? Yeah. So, um, it, sometimes it's interesting. Sometimes I'm like, okay. You know, but again, it's kind of a learning experience for me. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, that position. Oh, I need to, you know, and maybe not make that fit or whatever, you know, right, right. So with me, I tell people, and it's true, like what you see is what you get with me on film in person, you know, like it's, you know, people are like, Oh, your tongue's sticking out. Oh, you're, you know, yeah, that's, it is what it yeah, is. My cool. hair's like, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm having fun. I'm so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, cause you know, like, like if I wouldn't, cause I have to, you know, do this shit. And I, like, whenever I hear my own voice, I'm like, Oh my God, it makes me want to like pass out. So I can't imagine having to see like my body, which to be honest, we have different bodies. So it may be a lot more fun to look at if I look like you, but <laughs> like, I mean, if I catch like a little glance out of the mirror, going to the bathroom, I'm like, Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> <That's not it. laughs> yeah, I just, no. Hey, so do you have any fitness tips? Fitness like, um, yeah. So I've been doing intermittent fasting. What do you think of that? Um, what is that like? Eight, honestly, I don't know a whole lot of. Okay. So it's like where you only eat for like eight hours, like in an eight hour window. So 16 hours you don't eat. I don't, I, I think it's well back to, I don't know. I, I don't know if personally, I don't know if fasting is good for you. I've, mm -hmm. I've heard and read it, but it is back. It is about food. Yeah. I like when I was younger, I thought I was like, Oh, exercise, exercise, exercise. Um, but I think it's like, I do a, a high protein low, not really low carb, like 100 to 150 grams of carb, but I do like okay. try and get over 200 grams of protein. So especially like if I lift, um, and I mean, I eat fairly healthy. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't tend to eat like a lot of junk food. I used to, I used to do McDonald's and all, you know, all that. Um, but I've just kind of grown out of it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. So, but, and uh, yes, I do work out six days a week. Um, I've been doing more like running three days and then lifting the other whereas i would be running you know six days straight not or okay. five not five days a week so i was right. trying to like you know build more muscle um but yeah i at fasting i i honestly i don't know anything about it doesn't okay, sound right. healthy to to be honest but it doesn't 16 hours and no, no i mean i would get a headache after like <laughs> two hours yeah. like, ah, I need oh it's it's uh it's not it's not going great i'll tell you that. <laughs> well it is. I mean, I've lost weight, but also, you know, I mean, there's healthy ways and unhealthy ways, I guess, of doing it. So I don't know. I didn't know because I mean, you like clearly put like a ton of effort into like fitness. So if you could make one food, any like specific food, zero calories, what food would it be? Uh, zero. Um, so you could just eat the hell out of it as much as you wanted. Nothing's going to happen to you. Well, I really like chicken tacos. Oh God. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, I would say potatoes, any form of potatoes, but okay. I, yeah, I like chicken tacos. I don't know. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah, random, but yeah. Yeah. See, I go pizza. Pizza. Okay. I do yeah. pizza last night, but I do like the gluten-free or the, cauliflower crust pizza the cauliflower crust pizza is pretty good it's not bad yeah, yeah. um and then I'll, I'll put like some bison or ground turkey on it you yeah. know have you always been confident like in your body because it seems like if you're having to watch yourself like in a very like you know obviously intimate situation mm -hmm. like you have to have like you would go crazy if you like you know, you know what I mean? Like if you picked at every little thing on your body, it would seem like it would drive you crazy because you're seeing yourself more than probably most, like 99% of people ever see themselves. Right. Right. You know, um, I, wait, what was your question? Do so, I... yeah. So like, have you always been confident in your body? Like when I've... you see yourself, are you able to see yourself like with confidence? 
Um, yeah, uh, y- y- yes and no. I mean, I've always been aware, like, mm-hmm. um, you know, back in college, I was 15 pounds heavier because we lifted the, our personal trainer was the football personal trainer. So you can wow. imagine he had us lifting heavy. I mean, we're females, not football players. Yeah. Um, but so, I mean, it's funny cause I'm, so I'm 42. So you figured 20 years ago, uh-huh. well, more than 20 college, I guess t- more longer than 20, but, um, people see those pictures are like, wow, you, and, and I didn't, I don't think I looked bad, but just, yeah. so, and I did get, and then I got some boobs a year and a half ago. So, um, you know, and people are like, wow, you know, you, you, I guess they're like, you look better as you age, whereas some people don't, you know, so, and I'm like, oh, great. You know, thank you. That's very sweet. Um, so I've always, I think, been aware of, aware of how I feel and how I look. Um, Mm -hmm. but probably even more lately. I mean, since I've been in the industry, but I, yeah, I just, I go all by how I feel, you know, self wise and I've never been like oh shit you know I need to you know do this or that or um yeah so. yeah I got gotcha. you yeah I just I think that I'm sure there are a lot of people again with like misconceptions who imagine that people who were in like the porn industry have like low self-esteem but just from my experience of talking to people who are in it it seems to be like the exact opposite it seems like like y'all are like some of the most confident people I like I've ever talked to but it's also because society like in general puts such a like an unfair pressure on women to look a certain way but i think porn like i mean you could look really however and somebody's into it true exactly yeah that's i mean i i've i've been told like oh you don't really look like a porn star i'm like well okay i look a little bit you know but but you're right everyone guys girls you know it's in the industry you you're right you could look how we whatever and someone yeah. will think you're gorgeous or hot or sexy or maybe um, i should get an only fans going <laughs> <You could. laughs> i from from look i could i could make a killing off of feet videos oh yeah oh feet okay yeah from the ankles down i'm a solid 10 okay <laughs> ankles up well you know <laughs> jury's out on that one but you know ankles down i could make i'd be a millionaire by the end of the week <laughs> You got some sexy feet, huh? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. They don't get a lot of work, so you know they're they're doing they're looking all right. That's good. I'm sure they're yeah, that's sexy. Yeah. <laughs> but while I run, and I'm like, uh, thanks, yeah. you, my feet are sexy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Is there okay? So like with you know doing like a lot of taboo type videos, are there any like taboos that you're interested in like pursuing like career wise that you haven't? Um. Not, not really. I mean, it's just, it seems like the, the stepmom stepson thing is yeah huge. I mean, I, I do want to do like an aunt nephew type scene. Um, okay. To do one of them the last few days, but the, uh, it got canceled, but, um, but I have a script yeah. and everything and nice. for whoever comes along next, but, um, but yeah, this, the, you know, and people are like, Oh, you like working with younger guys. So that's why you like this son. You know, I'm like, I don't really care your age. Yes, I tend, I'm, you know, again, I'm 42. I tend to work with guys who are younger, even my girls who are younger, you mm-hmm. know, but, um, I just, I like to shoot what fans like. I mean, people have asked for the BDSM. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not really my thing. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. oh, you can be a dom because you're tall and you're lean and, you know, and you're fit. And so I've done a few, you know, dom type scenes um, with girls. Actually, I think mm-hmm. I did one with a stepson where I like <laughs> bent him over my <laughs> lap and spent. <laughs> um, but again, it's not like my personality to be like dominating, you yeah. know. But I could be bossy. I could take or you know, I could be. I guess I'm a switch, you know, dom. So okay, is what I'm guessing. Yeah. But, Are there any fetishes that like you just so not that you judge them or anything like that, but you just don't understand like what is the appeal in this? Because to me, like, I'm just saying that because, like, the whole BDSM thing, uh-huh. um, I don't get. Well, I don't get the male dominating female 
Cause I'll see some of those sometimes where I'm like, Jesus, this is rough. Like, yeah. and I'm just like, I am not, I have no interest in doing something like that to someone. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, I don't I'm get not judging the people that are doing it. Right. It's I, I, I don't understand that either. It's like, why do you want to, why girlfriend, why do you want to put yourself through this? You know, but yeah. again, like you said, everyone has their kink and fetish and um, I don't, I don't know. I guess this is a fetish and this isn't really like an act, like a scene, to, you know, the sex scene, but it's the tongue, like the u- uvula. I can't even say the word. Uvula. Like, yeah. yeah. I've been asked a few times. Oh, I want to see, you know, stick out your tongue, say, ah, and put a flashlight. And I want to see your, your like, <laughs> there's in the back of your throat. <laughs> and I'm like, what you do, you know? And anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. I think that, you know, feet is common. Uh, the, the, um, what else, you know, the stocking, all that, those fetishes, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the uvula. <laughs> that is, that's a wild one. I've never heard never that. Never heard one. that one? <laughs> no, no. I might have to start looking into it. Maybe I'm going to unbox something I didn't know that existed <laughs> in me, but. I didn't want to look in my mouth, but okay. Yeah. But that's like. It's like not even your mouth. Like it's like your throat. I don't right. know. That's a that's a weird one. But ultimately, pretty harmless, I guess. You know. Yeah, it is. Others. And the guy's like, put the put the flashlight back there. I'm like, I am trying to open my mouth as wide as I can. <laughs> Pretend there's a, you know, a dick in there. Just yeah. Kidding. Jesus. Oh, if you man. could do a scene with any celebrity, who would it be? Celebrity, male uh, or female. It would, well, it was Paul Walker because he was my hall pass, but he passed away. Um, yeah. uh, Bradley Cooper is, I think, is good looking. Um, it's a good one. Girl wise, Carrie Underwood, she's hot. I, I like country music. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, I guess. Um, I guess she's not really an actor. She's more of a singer, but she's still a celebrity. Oh, that um, could be a celebrity. Yeah, it doesn't matter what. But yeah, Carrie Underwood is a really good one. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's um there are probably a few more but those are the two that pop off there i feel like you could probably work that out to be you, honest you think with with who carrie <laughs> actually probably both i mean Wait. oh and well, she, I mean, you know. oh change oh yeah yes. well, there you I go that new that new movie with him and the dog because i have the same kind of dog as he as the He's a, he also has a new movie coming out with sandra bullock and brad pitt that looks really good too yeah 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 huh What's that called? Oh, shit. Lost City of D. Okay. Yeah, Sandra Bullock's like an erotic novelist, and he is the, like, Fabio, oh. you know? Yeah. So, okay. pretty That's interesting. Great actors, actresses. Yeah. Yeah, I would go... Um, I don't see Carrie Underwood as a good one. I've never thought about that. But I, I've always, like, since I was a little kid, had a thing for Shania Twain. Yep. she's She's gorgeous, too. Yeah, like, I grew up listening to... Well, all kinds of music, but like country music too. Like my aunt was like a, well, she's still a pretty famous country singer, but she was like really big in the seventies. So like always like grew up listening to country music. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. So like, where, where do you see yourself like 10 years from now? Like what is your ultimate like fantasy for where you are? 10 years. Um... Yeah. Like, do you think ahead like that or kind of take it slow, you know? I think more like maybe maybe five years down the road. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's funny. So I, I think ten years. Okay, ten years. I'll be fifty-two. Yes, there are some fifty-year-olds that are you know, and sixty-year-olds that are in the business. Sure. You know, I'm like, do I want to? You know, I guess it all de- depends on how I feel at that time. Yeah. You know, like, if I want to, do I still want to perform, or should I, you know, just keep running my company and having other content creators underneath the Yummy Girl Network and right. running websites and you know and just kind of fading out like retiring you know yeah. I, I don't know i think i take it more you know one day at a time or you know five years from now instead of yeah well that's what i was kind of like wondering is like do you do you see yourself getting into like fo- putting a lot of focus into like the behind the scenes because i mean obviously with having a website you're already doing a lot of it but like could you see yourself like shifting solely to that like doing like camera work and directing and that touch sure up. yeah yeah or like yeah just any of that or like content creating but where you aren't in front no, of camera i'm not i'm not performing yeah 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 i could i could 
because I do enjoy the industry so much, I, I could, yeah, kind of, you know, not do the, the performing and, and be behind the, behind the camera. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Okay. yeah. I like, I just think the, the whole like industry, like the porn industry is super fascinating. Like it's fascinating getting to talk with people, you know, such as yourself who like, I think the average person just has such a like kind of fucked up idea of like what it is. But then whenever you talk to somebody, you're like, Oh no, this is like, it's a job. It, like it's a job. It is. Yeah. It's a workout. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. But also it seems like a super fun job. Like it is. It, it is. And most, most of the people in the industry are cool. You know, yeah. there's a drama, like you said, there could be drama with any uh, career, you know, or job mm -hmm. or whatever, any coworker type thing. But, um, but yeah, I try and stay away from the drama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't really, I'm too old for that. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's, like, you. it's not, you know, so yeah, you know, be nice to everyone and, and, uh, you know, just kind of do my own thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's like a good rule of thumb, no matter what job you're in, right. like, you know, head to the head to the ground usually works out really well. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so when you were doing scenes for like when you go to do a scene for like a like a different company, so not doing your own content, do you have like a list of things that like, okay, I, these are the things I will or won't do? Um, I have a, a short list. Basically, I, I don't like pain, you know, back to the BDSM stuff. Okay. I, you can pull my hair a little bit. You can spank. Mm -hmm. uh, just don't, you know, I don't, and the degrading, you know, I'll, I'll deep throw a, a dick as, as well as I can and spit. I don't care about spit, but don't, you know, spit in my face. Don't slap, you know, I don't like that type of stuff. And usually, yeah. you know, I do the tether stuff. So the stepson doesn't <laughs> get to do that to his mom. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's really yeah. it. You know, it's pretty basic, but, um, yeah. Yeah. See, and that's, that's interesting. Cause like, yeah, there's, there's just something about the like degrading stuff that is like so weird to me. I mean, I know that there's, there's probably some psychology behind it, whatever, but like, yeah. I'm, I'm no damn doctor, but like, I just, for me, like I want to be with so, like, you know, obviously porn is a fantasy. It's not real, but I like to see women who are like, super empowered like super confident like so women so people like you who are like like have taken control of like your career your life mm -hmm. and you seem to be completely happy with what you're doing oh yeah i am i enjoy which it. is great because i think there's still there's just and which i grew up like in the south so like super bible belt you know uh -huh. porn is a sin it's evil all these people are horrible people and then you, you like figure out like uh I don't know. It's kind of seems like you guys might be the bad. People. <laughs> right. yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I grew up very, very, went to church every week, you know? So yeah. like I said, you can imagine uh, why when my family found out, they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, it's a business. It's fun. I enjoy it. You know, I am happily married. I, you know, it's, it's, and I try to tell my mom, like, it's acting. No, it's not acting. <laughs> like, I mean, well, I mean, you know, it's like, it's a different kind of acting. It's not like a Sandra, Bull, you know, Hollywood, but it's because we're sex, but it's, you know, but it is, but really that actually, <laughs> you know, but that is a good point because it is acting like, I mean, yeah. Is it, you know, is, are we going to see Meryl Streep doing porn? Probably not. Right. <laughs> but granted, if she had an only fans, number one subscriber, uh, but like, it is acting like it's it's professional wrestling it's acting it's entertainment like it's it's not any different you know but yeah i just think that I, it's weird that just people are so uncomfortable with sex i know it's, it's i know i you you go you i mean every it's their body parts it's it yeah i don't get it <laughs> but so so was it easy for you to like kind of because if you grew up like that like you know just in that world of like everything being a taboo and all that was it easy for you to break out like were you always a person who questioned like what they were being told because i'm kind of like that um i yes i always yeah kind of just okay you know go with the flow don't yeah. question just uh, yes and so it's it's yeah it's 
yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs> no, I got you. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah, I mean, that's it's really interesting. Like, it's fun to get to talk to, like, to get to talk to you about this. And I hope that people actually like take something from it. Who maybe if they do have, you know, those opinions, because you're obviously not uh, broken or all these little things that people want to tag on to people who do porn. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's very interesting. But I mean, do you care? You know what I mean? Like, like it is. Do you like put any thought into that? I, a few years ago, like when I first started out, I would, I get messages on like, you know, there was a Twitter troll out there who wasn't yeah. just bagged it, you know, like probably 40 performers, guys and girls, you know, just trying to shame all of us, like get me, to get out of porn. Like that's bad. You're going to go to hell and did it, you know, just all over Twitter. Um, and it's like, obviously this guy hadn't, you know, nothing better to do. And, um, um, I, 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 so basically to answer your question, like three years ago from then to now, I've learned to like, you know, just brush, brush those nasty comments on Instagram. Like, Oh, you need to eat a hamburger. Oh, you need to, you know, I'm like, okay, you don't like fit girls. That's fine. Like, don't be a dick. You know, I don't say that of course, but it's like, don't be rude. I just, like, I just don't get why people are so rude to people yeah well, people they don't want to watch porn but don't you know don't don't i don't it's, know it's an anonymity has a lot to do with it because i mean these aren't people saying it to your face are they I mean, no, right, no no right it's, that's <laughs> what i mean so like <laughs> and exactly. i don't know people so i've learned like okay i don't know this person don't let it affect you you know so in the beginning i'm like oh my god like but um, but that's I that's a, a person you know i yeah. do have feelings you know just because i I'm a porn star. I am a regular person, you know, if yeah. you're, so. but that takes a lot. Like that's not easy. I mean, even though, you know, it took a couple of years. I mean, most people never get to that point to where it doesn't bother them. Like to the point to where you are right now, where you're able to brush off most people. Like, I mean, it drives them insane and it's unfortunate, but you know, but that is the way, the way it is for a lot of people. So it's, it's pretty impressive that you're able to, you know, not take this, like super to heart, you know, it, it, yeah. it's taken me a few years, but yeah, I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, well, you, I'll either block them or just delete the comment. You know, I don't want yeah, to, yeah. but yeah. I, I still in my head, I'm like, why, <laughs> you know, but whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, but it, why? But then I think to myself, don't let this person affect you. You don't know that. You know, so. But also the amount of like unhappiness that person has is through the roof That's exactly i'm like I mean, yeah, right i mean that person does not have a good life or that person is not looking in the mirror and being like i'm so glad i am who i am exactly. whereas you probably do like, you know so ultimately you win screw That's right. <laughs> god what do you think is the sexiest accent the sexiest accent yeah um oh, i love all accents actually i every <laughs> Like, oh my god that's so, i'm like where are you from like when i'm camming or do skype shows i'm like mm -hmm. um i like australian uh yeah it's a good uh, one maybe because i want to go there because it's again back to the bikini they're based out of australia you know so yeah going to australia is on my bucket list um yeah i just love accents in general they're just yeah. you know like the, the british the, the english mm -hmm. the yeah. People, it's funny speaking of accent people think i have an accent they're like you're from texas i'm like no i'm not i'm a california girl <laughs> well no i i would have actually like if i mean i didn't know where you're from to be honest but like if you would have asked me i would have guessed like probably texas oklahoma oh really <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you you do have a little bit of an accent i mean or it seems like it i mean yeah <laughs> yeah because people people like tell me that i have an accent i don't i don't hear it at all you're, i mean you're it, in texas right yeah yeah yeah, like born and raised and like kind of outside of Dallas, but I don't, I don't think I have much of one to be honest, but yeah, that's, that's weird. So yeah. So Australia, that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. Mine. I like, I guess it goes back to liking like strong domineering women, but I like like the Russian or like Eastern European accent. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my like go-to my like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, woo. 
Yeah. Like I have a thing for, for women who, so like, I, I won't speak up for myself usually. Like if I go to a restaurant and they get my food wrong, I'm not saying shit, but I like a woman who's like, Oh no, we're about to make this a problem. Oh, <laughs> see, I, you're funny. I'm like, you. I'm like, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a very confrontational person. I yeah. get my shyness and I get, yeah. people don't believe me, but I'm like, okay. Okay. Well it's, I'll just, you know, eat a couple bites, look like I ate it. Cause I feel bad. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. complaining, but, um, that's funny. So you'd like the, the, the women who take charge. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. So like find me like a six foot, like Eastern European woman and I'll like, I'll sell my soul if I have to, I don't know, whatever it is I got to do it's happening. But yeah. <laughs> uh, if you could make a, like a porn parody, of like a movie. So like a porn spoof, like what movie would you do? Uh, um, I don't know. One of the, let me think I've watched, uh, I'm trying to think of the like superheroes. I've, um, probably Supergirl. Okay. I'm trying to think That's of like a superhero flash was good, but that was a dude uh, guy. Um, Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 Wonder Woman's not, not a bad Wonder one. Woman. Oh, Actually, what because they are mean? Amazons is like their actual thing, and That's I mean true. you're basically the damn definition of it. It'd be fun, yeah. I, yeah. But I like I think Supergirl because she can fly. <laughs> That's true, and yeah. she's she's a blonde in the well on the TV show, but um, yeah, yeah. Um, Wonder Woman, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, the first little little thing I did the other recently was was Ghostbusters. So I know well, I want to do some more like that type, those type of, you know, scenes. Of yeah. Movie. I love those. I don't know what it is, but I just think it's like, I mean, usually because they're hilarious, like yeah. they're funny to like, cause uh, you know, they're not taking it seriously. Like, and they're usually doing movies where it's like, oh, okay. Like they're not redoing fucking like the Godfather or something, right? Like, <laughs> right. But, yeah. which I will say wouldn't be a bad choice to do the Godfather. Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah. That's awesome. So, I mean, I know we're kind of cutting to the uh, time limit. So is there anything before we go that you would like to tell the world? Tell the world. Just uh, All the years. Just come check me out um, on my website um, and or my network. Yummygirl.com is the network. We, we run about 25, 30 different sites. So uh, if you there's like Brittany Andrews, Will Tile, Shawn Michaels, uh, a lot of younger guys, Josh Lewis, you know, we have like a young guns where basically the younger dudes get to have fun with the, the MILFs <laughs> um, and follow me on social media. Yummy Sophie for Instagram and uh, wicked yummy one for Twitter. And uh, I don't know. That's, That's it. it. Awesome. <laughs>